All right, <clears throat> for this experiment, we'll be uh, using the apparatus to determine Planck's constant, very famous experiment done around 1900 by Max Planck. I'll be posting the lab manual on the course website. It briefly was observed in 1905. As far as this is concerned, you can read the details of it. The famous equation developed by Einstein in 1905 to account for the phenomenon. And this will be the lab. So here's the apparatus. Uh, it consists of a light source, which we can turn on and off, which then enters light into a tube, and there's a photomultiplier tube back here, and then we can record um, the current. So what we see is the light as we put on the light will excite electrons, which then create a current, which then we measure, and this will be in microamps, as far as that is concerned. Um, <clears throat> we then have, for determining Planck's constant, as you can read the manual prior to doing the lab, uh, we will we can adjust the what we call a stopping voltage, either plus or minus. In this case, we'll be doing minus. And what we will do is then adjust the current and then measure the stopping voltage. So we'll increase, we'll adjust uh, <clears throat> the light intensity here. And we should see that light intensity should not make effect. We'll see that. And then here we'll be doing the adjusting the voltage, stopping voltage. As you can see, as I increase this here, stopping voltage with negative goes here. And what we're gonna try and do is set the voltage such that the current stops to zero. So what we're gonna have here is we have five different lights, um, filters, a red at 635 millimeters, a yellow at 570, a yellow green at 540, a green at 500 nanometers, and a blue at 460 nanometers. And we'll do these one at a time and take measurements from there. All right, so let's first start with the 635. Place that in here. Uh, then turn up the light source. Get the lights as bright as you can get it. And then oh, and then what we're gonna do, you notice the current the current is 0.982 microamps. And what we're gonna do, then do is adjust the stopping voltage so that the current goes to zero. Okay. So now it's zero, the current. So now we'll check what the stopping voltage is. And that is point minus 0.25. So that's the voltage it takes to stop this current. All right, next we're gonna do the, use the 570. Put that in here. Um, increase the light's intensity. So you can see, well, first adjust it, the maximum this will go. Okay. 
get the light source pretty bright. Okay. Then what we're going to do is then adjust the stopping voltage, as you can see here on the right, until the current goes down to zero. Fine tune this a bit down to the multiply, so we get down to the last decimal place, and here we go, and the stopping voltage in this case is then minus 0.41, that is the stopping voltage for this one. All right, next we're gonna use the next one, uh, 540 nanometers. Put that in there. Uh, we notice the current is at zero. Increase the light intensity. A little bit once we get the current stopping voltage higher. So, what we're going to do is now increase the stopping voltage and reduce the current down to zero. Fine tune this a bit. One thing I should observe is if, notice how if we increase the intensity, it changes slightly. You get the intensity very high, but for the most part, the intensity of the light has very little effect on the stopping voltage because it's the frequency of the individual photons, not the number of photons themselves that actually causes the effect. So we're gonna maximum the light for each time, and then here, set that. So there we have stopping, the current is now stopped, and we get the stop, and we end up with 0.58 volts. We will next do the 500 nanometer or very green one. Put that in here. All right. Got the voltage down to zero. Got the current and now we will raise the current, put the current. Okay, let's start increasing the voltage. As we see here, see what happens to the current. Fine tune it. All right, we now have a current of zero. We'll just what see what the stopping voltage was, and it's point seven three.
I would say find that too in a little bit. Uh, points, point seven three, point seven three five. I'm gonna say. We'll do our fifth and final filter. This will be at 460 nanometers. The blue. Oh, we got the stopping voltage at zero. We have the current at zero because we have no light. Now, and turn on the light source. the stopping voltage now you see I have a very bright light source Takes a while, it takes quite a bit. Okay, I have the light source as bright as I can possibly get it. The stopping voltage. I call it point nine two. So for the final one, the voltage is point nine two. Now we've got our data. Um, we convert the wavelength to frequency in units of 10 to the 14th hertz. And we've measured our volt stopping voltage for 635, which is 0.25, 570, which is 0 0.41 volts, 540 nanometers, which is 0.58 volts, 500 nanometers, which rounds to 0.74 volts, 460 nanometers, which rounds to point. 92 volts. Uh, then the equation for determining Planck constant is H times frequency is equal to the kinetic energy of the electrons, which is Q times V plus the work function, which is the property of the material of the photoelectric device, uh, which is then, uh, then getting H by itself, we take the slope of the volts divided by uh, the frequency, neglecting the 10 to the 14th. And so this H will be slope times 1.602 times 10 to the minus 33rd. And that'll be in units of her joule seconds. So calculate that, uh, enter the data table, and figure out, uh, and along with that, estimate the uh, uncertainties for this experiment.